The Utah Department of Corrections says one of their canines, an eight-year-old named Loki, died inside a vehicle. Loki served with the State Department of Corrections for six years. He detected drugs and helped with security. ABC4's Jonathan May has that story. They found Loki deceased in a vehicle at the facility. The specific circumstances of his death are not clear at this time. The handler is devastated at what happened and, and he's working through those emotions and that and that, that difficulty. That, uh, so he, he, we've given him some time to, to go home and, and uh, uh, you know, address the, his needs. The Utah Department of Corrections asked the State Bureau of Investigation to investigate what happened. Right now, I'm hearing preliminary indications suggest heat may have been a contributing factor. Well, the main thing that we're hoping to get out of the investigation is whether there was some sort of an equipment failure. This was a this was a, a, a vehicle designed for canines, so we're, we're, we're hoping to get out of the investigation if this was a, an equipment failure. Experts tell me dogs are prone to overheating. The Humane Society of the United States says when it's 72 degrees Fahrenheit outside, temperatures inside a car can heat up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit within an hour. We continually like to try and educate people and remind them every year about the dangers of leaving your pets in hot cars. And rolling down a window does little Little to reduce temperatures. Schuster adds vehicles trap heat no matter what. Some of the symptoms you want to look for for heat stroke are animals that are exhibiting frantic behavior. So if they're circling or pawing to try and get out of the vehicle, really excessive panting, a dark purple tongue can also be signs of heat exhaustion. When it comes to Loki's death, the department will look into if policies and procedures were followed. Handlers are allowed to, to leave their canine uh, in, in the car during during periods of the day, uh, you know, obviously having said that, that, that there needs to be, uh, the need, it needs to be a safe situation for the canine. That was Jonathan May.